in our message today, we will be talking about some insights on giving, uh, on the spiritual side of giving. So let's start off in 2 Corinthians chapter 8. So what Paul was doing at that time was, he was collecting money to help the believers who were in Jerusalem. At that time, Judea, Jerusalem and the whole district of Judea, went through famine. According, verse 3, according to their ability and beyond their ability, they were ready to help. So now, there are many ways that we can minister to God's people. We can minister to the word. We can minister through you know, so many different things. But one very important way that we can minister to the saints is through giving. First, our giving must be an expression of our own yieldedness to God. You've given yourself to God. So God, now, if you want me to give part of this money that I have, that's fine. And second, it's that you give according to the will of God or the purpose of God. Now, here's something I want to mention. You don't have to give according to what your neighbor is giving. But he says, see that you are bound in this grace. Also. So, in every area, including our generosity, we should keep growing and abound. So, in as much as we are zealous of ministering through the gifts and so on, let us also be zealous in ministering through the grace of giving, that is generosity. So one major way that we walk in this grace that is bestowed on us uh, to equip other churches through our publications. Uh, right from the beginning, we've been giving our publications out across the country for free. Now, so imagine every time you make an offering here, it's going out. Verse number 8. I speak not by commandment, but I am testing the sincerity of your love by the diligence of others. Interesting. He says, I don't, I'm not speaking by commandment. In other words, I'm not commanding you to do this. Don't go into debt in order to, because you give according to what you have, not according to what you don't have. Everything's been accounted for. All our accounts, our annual uh, audited reports are available on our church or our website, right from the first day till now. Every year it's put up. So anyone who wants to go see can see it. Well, how much money came, where it went, it's there. Right? Why are we doing that? Why do we do that? Because we want to be accountable, not only in the sight of God, but also the sight of man. As a matter of generosity, the Greek for generosity is eulogy. Now when you you'll give or present a eulogy, a blessing, a word of blessing, you... Uh, uh, amen? Give because you want to be a blessing. Not because somebody's cheating you into it or somebody is forcing you out of it. Are you with me? So, hey, when you go to a service where you find the preacher trying to cheat you into something or if you find the preacher trying to force you into it, you don't have to give because you give as a matter of blessing. So, it's very interesting. Giving into God's kingdom is sowing. And sowing, whenever it is done right, always results in multiplication. So, he's talking about two ways to give, two ways not to give. You give as you purpose in your heart. Don't give in order to look nice. Don't give in order to compete with somebody. What, what do you purpose in your heart? Just give. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you. That you always having all sufficiency in all things may have an abundance for every good work. Now think about that promise there. God gives seed to sow. He gives bread to eat. He multiplies the seed you sow and he increases your fruit. So there is seed that has to be sown. And there is bread that you can eat. Every time something comes into your hand. And God blesses you with. That represents seed and bread. Next Sunday, we'll talk about the practical side of this. How much do I give? How do, where do I give? And so on. Amen? And I can testify that. I close with this. I can testify that about us as a church. You know, when we go around the country ministering, people think we are funded. We have lots of money coming from America. People always ask, Pastor, I have one question. How do you print and give these books for free? I said, I don't know. Money comes, it happens. But zero money from outside India. <laughs>